Hello Pisces, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your December 2018 mini tarot reading. I cannot believe it's already the end of the year and I couldn't let the year end without stopping to say thank you so much. I appreciate all of you that have had a reading with me. Those that watch my videos, you share, you like, you subscribe. You're just, I'm so appreciative of you and I wanted to say that before we begin. And again, I can't believe it's the end of the year. Happy holidays from my house to yours. Uh, for, uh, for all of your family, may blessings rain down upon you. So let's see what's coming for Pisces here. Let's take a look. What is coming up for Pisces for December 2018? Wow. Let's see here. Oop. Okay. Looks like if there's any legal issues uh, around, and of course that's not for everybody, but it says something will be worked out. If you have had something weighing on your mind or you've been worried about... Um, uh, completing, finishing, ending something like that. It looks like this month is going to give you, you're going to get some relief with that or some kind of information that gives you some kind of inspiration. It says there has been gaiety in the midst of change. Things have gone up and down. And it says too, this can be the pregnancy card. I hate saying that because I know everybody can't be pregnant, but if you're wanting pregnancy, this could be an interesting month for you. Um, possibilities. It says things that you've learned throughout the year, put them into practice. Some of you have learned that don't spend more than you have. That's a big lesson. That's a lot of people don't get that lesson until they're, you know, they don't have any place to live. But it says a lot of you have worked on that improvement in your finances. Is there a lot more? Could be, but you've learned how to, um, I don't want to say manipulate. I want to say you've learned how to not spend more than you have coming in. Changes, changes, changes at the where you live is a good thing for some of you. It says, don't worry, the changes you've made are going to serve all at home, okay? It says, two, make a lot of those, um, a lot of things that you've changed, make sure that they fit for you, too. Don't make changes for everybody else. Make sure you're included in how the outcome of some of those are. And then everybody will celebrate that way. Can't It shouldn't be just one-sided. It says, your intuition is really strong this month, but of course it usually is for you, Pisces. But I also have joy coming this month because of your intuition. So if you get a feeling or you think, you know, gosh, this doesn't feel right, learn how to differentiate your ego from your intuition and you're well on your way to using it every day. In fact, I still sharpen that every day that I can because I feel it's like a muscle in a way. You may be hearing from someone you used to work with or somebody that you used to know and they're going to talk about um, opportunities for work. That's not for everybody, but those of you that are thinking about changing jobs, um, before you quit your job, make sure you check and see what this is all about for you. Could be very interesting, could be very prosperous also. So um, <clears throat> I would also take into consideration who that person is. You know, if you haven't seen them for a long time, let them prove themselves. Let them become a friend all over again, so to speak. It says that choices you make now, again, try to make them with you included in the outcome. Don't give your power away and say, okay, you know, we'll do it your way. If you have good input, now would be a time to, to speak up about that. And that's home or work, whatever, family, something like that. Doesn't matter what's gone, it matters what's left. If you've made changes, and a lot of you have, make sure you're included in how the changes are, are going to take place. That feeling of being alone even when you're with people, it says use that time wisely. Uh, Pisces, I, I believe, likes some time alone. Maybe they even seem like a recluse once in a while. But it says information is coming to you. Maybe that's your meditation time. Maybe that's the time where you sit and think it could be really good for you. I feel real uh, comfortable saying that you're going to make some choices. And you, again, if you include yourself in the outcome of that choice rather than family or work or friends, you're going to be quite happy says that you've learned how to stand up to yourself in a good way. Sometimes in the past, maybe you were a little too direct. And it says uh, spirit is walking with you and helping you. So remember, if there was a disappointment from the past that a choice was made, kind of re not relive it, but look at it again and see what happened. Because I think that you're going to see a lot of things that happened before ended up being blessing in disguise. And that's always a good thing, too. I feel that there's victory in the relationship department. For those of you that have been having difficulty, speak up and speak from here. Don't say what you think they want to say. Speak your truth. Speak how you truly feel. And if they do the same, if you, you, know, if, if you have a problem and both people are honest, it's easy to fix. If one just keeps saying okay and they're not <clears throat> saying what they really feel, it could be you know, almost disastrous for some of you. 
But anyway, it says, when you move forward with um, joy, bliss, and ease, life is good. And I feel a lot of you are going to actually get that. It says, feeling like a fool in the past, that's no more. It says, if there's sadness from the past or a time when you felt foolish, just, again, preparedness in reverse. Go back and look how you got to where you are today or how things are right now. And I think it will help you make your choices for the future. And here it says that um, excuses are gone. Um, and the hard work you've put in is going to bring you victory in more ways than one. And with that said, Pisces, again, I want to wish your family and yourself happy holidays. May the you know blessings rain down upon your family. And I so appreciate your support all year. And I can't wait to see you next month.